About the last thing we have to talk about before we take this block outside and clean it up and get it ready for final assembly is this oil pickup. If you have a street hemi block, of course you just have the half inch pipe fitting there and you screw your pickup into it. And if you don't want to use that, you just screw in a half inch pipe plug and you block it off. So if you have a street hemi block or the early reproduction blocks, a little after 2000, that'll all be a lot easier. But if, or, or if you have a KB block, of course it has no provision for internal pickup, so you don't have to worry about it. But all of the blocks sold for the last 10 years or more, they have this style, which can be used. Uh, they give you this uh, adapter that comes with the block. And now that converts it into a street hemi style where you just use that. Now, since a lot of these are Hemis today are being built as strokers and high horsepower motors, and you'll end up wanting a bigger pan, a deeper pan. You'll end up going to external oiling. And when you use the external oiling, you have to block this off by some means. Uh, probably the easiest way is to, since it's been converted to a street Hemi style, you could just screw your half inch plug in there. But some of these strokers are pretty big, and, and you you might have to grind some of this off. If you have to do that, you'd want to screw your plug in first and then grind your clearance and then you'll all be done there. But if you don't want to use this ugly looking thing inside your motor, then there's a couple other ways you can do it. You can use a three quarter inch freeze plug. It fits pretty good. And you can drive that in there and so for 10 cents you can do it that way. If you're worried about that falling out, tap it for a 3 8 inch pipe plug. When you tap that, you may have to tap it and then screw the tap out, grind the nose off of it to give you some more clearance to go down there a little deeper because it gets tight down there at the bottom. But that's a pretty good looking way to do that. But Bill Miller makes this block off plate, which I think probably looks the best of the options. Now, if you do this or any of these bolt-on affairs, you want to Make sure that you're going to want to red lock tight it before you tighten it up. And so, you know, you may have sprayed this block down with WD-40 after you uh, washed it and dried it off to keep it from rusting. And so, you want to clean these threads out real good with a uh, lacquer thinner and a Q-tip or spray some brake clean, something in there. To get those threads clean before you... I don't guess Loctite would work on oily threads. I don't know. But get it clean before you do that. 1% of you don't have to worry about blocking off the oil pickup because it doesn't apply to you. If you're using an oil pump like this Mylodon dual line, then it doesn't even have a place for the oil to pick up right there. It doesn't use that passage. So this would, you don't have to block off the inside. Now, if you wanted, when you typically use a pump like this, it has an O-ring. This is where your oil pressure goes into the block. So it has an O-ring there. And so you really don't have to use a gasket. So you might worry a little bit about windage or pressure, crankcase pressure, something like that, getting some oil leak there. But if, if you're worried about that, you can just tap that hole for a 3 8 pipe plug and screw that in there. And you don't have to worry about all this inside and having bolts 
that could come loose and hurt you. Another system that doesn't use this would be a dry sump. All it takes is, you know, the, the pump is external. And, and actually, on an external oil pump of any type, you know, they have those that are wet sumps also. And so that just bolts on and you don't use that. So there's no reason to block off the inside. Uh, this particular was made by uh, AR Engineering. And that's not a fitting. That's made on there. Just totally sexy. A guy named uh, Andy Finkbeiner makes some... Uh, some real nice stuff. I've been waiting two weeks for the weather to get better so I could wheel this block outside and uh, clean it up for final assembly, but it's never got better. So we'll just go ahead and go over it in here, and then as soon as the weather gets better, I'll clean it up. The main thing on the block clean up, of course you want everything clean, you know that. But the main thing you want clean is the oil galleys. That's the hard part, the hidden part. You're going to have to have some brushes. You need to know what, how the oil flows through the engine so you know where the oil galleys are so you can clean them up. So the oil comes into the block from here, and you know most of this stuff, comes down to here, so you clean this with that brush, then it goes down to the lifters and then travels to the back of the block and then comes back up to the front so you'll need brushes that with the length and the size that you need and what you use for a brush is kind of depending on your block if it's a new block and you think that it's there's no rust in there and it's not going to be real hard to clean up you just get some nylon brushes or whatever they call that stuff and clean them out and that that'll be good if you if your block is used and you see some rust or some bad stuff and needs to be cleaned up you'll want to use a metal brush for that when the main oil passages that you don't want to miss are what feeds the mains. This, if, if you leave trash in there, they're going straight to your mains. You do not want trash going to your main bearings. Some people think this supplies oil to the mains. It does not. The, the most important passage on the block is this. that goes from the oil, from the lifters, down to the mains. That is the one that you want to take care of. Of course, you clean all of these. Don't get me wrong. This main is fed from the uh, from the main galley here, but this is what you care about. When, when you see that on your main bearings, when you tear it down, and you see that and wonder where it came from, that's trash that you left in there that went straight down to the bearings. So take care of that. Use the proper brushes. There are some people that clean these blocks in those pressure wash cabinets and they think that somehow that cleans the block. It can't clean the block. It, you have to have brushes. The only thing you can do is brush this out. If you... When you get down... I had a buddy with a pressure washer. He wanted to do one one time and I said, okay, go ahead. So he pressure washed for an hour and when he got done I ran this through there and of course it came out black and I told him you can't clean the oil galleys with a pressure washer and of course obviously you can't with a pressure cabinet uh, and you know you can get these uh, gun cleaning kits uh, on Amazon for a little nothing and and you get a lot of different sizes and you get some these wipe out the passages real good when you get done but, uh, you know, it's, it's just a cheap way to get a lot of different sizes. 
for the cylinders, you don't have to have one of these brushes. Goodson sells these, and they're nice and all of that. But, you know, I think a white washcloth probably does just as good. When you're cleaning this up, you, you, you should enjoy it because, you know, some parts about building an engine are expensive and guys say, oh, I don't have the money for this or I don't have the money for that. Well, you've got the money. You can, you can clean up a block. It's not expensive. And when you do, you know, you're, you're as good as your hemi engine building hero. I mean, I don't care if it's Maurice Petty or Jake King or Keith Black or Ray Barton. It doesn't matter. You're just as good as they are. They've got the same bucket of hot water and Tide. They've got the brush. They've got the washcloth. You're as good as they are. Do everything. Do everything. These Some of these threads here, you might be using a sealant on or Loctite. And so you want to clean the threads out good or else you know that the sealant or the Loctite is not going to work. So mainly the oil galleys. Of course, get the cylinders, but you can wipe them out spotless clean later, you know, but now's the time to do it. Uh, get everything. Get every hole, even things. That you, like if you leave dirt in this hole, then when you stick your bolt in there, it's going into your main caps and the threads and every single hole. Clean it perfect. As Keith Black's instructions used to say on his blocks, Clean it over and over and over until it's absolutely perfect, and then clean it one more time. So that's probably good advice. And of course, when you get done with it, blow all the threads out so you can, so you don't rust in there. You don't want to leave water in the threads. But as soon as it gets better, I'll wheel this outside and and then uh, I should have my buddies got a 572 rotating assembly because I don't have mine back. So he didn't have a use for it. I should have it by then and we'll be able to start final assembly on the next video.